Hello and welcome to Dr. Clay's chemistry lesson. Uh, in this lesson we're going to be looking at rates of reaction and in a little bit more detail we'll be talking about collision theory. So by the end of this session you should be able to do the following. You'll be able to describe and explain why changing one of the following four things, that is the temperature, the concentration, adding a catalyst, or the size of particles, changes the rate of reaction. So this whole lesson is underpinned by this thing called the collision theory. So let's first of all go back to our equations that we saw in the last lecture and we'll just take this one where we've got AB plus CD we're going to make the products AC and BD. It would be completely imaginary compounds, or we could come up with some real ones. In order for this reaction to actually happen, a few things have got to occur. Firstly, AB has actually got to collide with CD. And secondly, it has to collide with enough energy in order for the reaction to occur. We also describe later on that they have to come with the right uh, position, but we don't need to worry about that at GCSE. So importantly, for a reaction to occur, reactants must collide and with enough energy. So we're now going to take each of these things in turn, that's temperature, concentration, catalyst and surface area, and see if we can explain how the collision and energy affect that rate of reaction. So let's, let's look at temperature first. So if we were to increase the temperature of a reaction, we would commonly expect that the rate of reaction will increase in a similar way. Why do you think that is? Okay, so there's two reasons. Let's see if you got them both. Firstly, the particles or the reactants will be moving faster and therefore will collide more frequently so therefore more likely to react and secondly they will col more collisions will be successful because more of them will have the minimum energy for a reaction to occur. So particles have more energy and the minimum energy for a reaction to occur is what we call the activation energy. So more particles will have an energy greater than or equal to the activation energy. So, perhaps we should add to our point up here that enough energy, so if we have particles or reactants, particles, 
require a minimum energy for reaction and we call this the activation energy the new term there and we'll be seeing that quite a lot this year okay so that was temperature what about concentration or if we're dealing with a gas pressure? So if we're dealing with concentration, we're talking about a solution. How does increasing the concentration affect the rate of reaction? So increasing the concentration, that's correct, generally leads to an increases the rate of reaction. But why? Pause the video for a second and have a think. Okay, that's right. So, if we look at our two options above, collide or with enough energy, well, we're not changing the energy at all. So we're not having anything to do with the energy, but if we've got a higher concentration, so if we increase the concentration, we have more particles and these are more likely to collide so they'll collide more frequently So we get an increased rate of reaction. Simple as that. Okay. This time we're going to be looking at solid particles and how they can affect the rate of reaction. So particle size and what's more commonly known as surface area. So we look at the picture over here on the right hand side. I'll just put a little cloud around it. We've got two options. We've got here on the left hand side we've got um, a large particle in the middle, that yellow blob and then we've got some little particles around the outside. So this is a large particle and on the right hand side we've got some little particles so these are all little or small particles perhaps would be a better word. Now, the one on the left, that's the large particle, for the given volume has got a smaller surface area than the lots of little particles. In other words, the little molecules, the little spheres or circles, there's more area for them to hit on the little particles. They've got more surface showing than in the one big one. So how does that affect the rate of reaction? Well, if we increase the surface area, which is the same as taking one large block and smashing it into lots of little pieces, so increase the surface area, we will increase the rate of reaction. Why? I'll give you a second to think about that. So why does that increase the rate of reaction? Well, two ideas above. Well, there we go. We're not changing the energy. So we've got nothing to do with increasing the energy. So it must have something to do with the collision. So increasing the surface area. Increases the rate of reaction because there are more collisions because there are more collisions large 
larger surface area, more collisions. And so we're now going to look at our final one in just a second. Catalyst then is the final example and is, does increase the reaction in a couple of different ways. So you've probably seen some examples in biology. An enzyme, for example, is an example of a biological catalyst. You'll see later on in the course that we have iron as a catalyst in something called the harbour process where we make ammonia. And we also use uh, catalysts in a variety of different industrial processes later on in the course. But how does it work? Well, in two ways. Here on the right hand side we've got a picture again and it says a surface of catalyst. Importantly, the catalyst is, in the instances that we'll be looking at, is a solid, so a solid catalyst. allows for gases to stick to the surface and react. They then increase the rate of reaction by sort of increasing the collisions, but they also do something else which is a little bit clever. They lower the activation energy. So they increase the rate of reaction. by lowering the activation energy. And they do this by doing what we call offering an alternative route for reaction with a lower activation energy. But we'll look at that later on in the course when we look at reaction profiles uh, in some months' time. So we can see there that the four physical properties of temperature, concentration, surface area and catalyst can affect the rate of reaction. We can explain that using collision theory and is highlighted by the fact that a reaction only occurs if the reactants initially collide, and if they collide with enough energy, that is the activation energy. So, at the end of this lesson, hopefully you should now be able to describe and explain why changing either the temperature, the concentration, adding a catalyst, size of particles, changes the rate of reaction. I look forward to seeing you again soon.